Jen Joy here. I'm back with this week's Minimalist Home Tour. In this week's Minimalist Home Tour, you'll be able to see small changes here and there as per usual. And on that same note, I had just come back from um, vacation. So I did sort of two vacations um, in total. And I was kind of talking about in the live video yesterday how, you know, I don't have anything super inspirational to say. At least yesterday, I really didn't. Um, even though I like to talk about like life lessons I've learned or some tips and things like that um, every week in the intro. I was simply too exhausted and I've not had any kind of epiphany for me to share with the world. Um, and so I think that's another reason why I was sort of like, I guess you could say not afraid, but hesitant to record the intro for this week and record the home tour because you know i always feel like um the subscribers who watch my channel and like my videos and comment and, and things like that they are looking for that little nugget of you know tips or wisdom or anything that i might be able to share but i guess on that same note i could share this week that you know sometimes you know it's okay not to not to know what's going on and you're just going through the motions I'm very happy i was able to get 10 hours of sleep the other day i think the exhaustion from the trip sort of added up and i still managed to have time to cook something this morning uh for lunch and dinner and you know this is one of my goals always to try and eat healthier and save money by cooking more and i think that's the fun part because anybody can have like a small goal that they're working on that's within their control that you know they could do to improve their lives sometimes you know the improvements or goals that we have in life do not have to be super drastic or super amazing or super impactful um and you know as long as you know in your heart that you are doing your best to be better and working on improving yourself uh, i think that's ultimately what matters because i'm also someone who does social media um, I would be lying if I didn't admit that sometimes I do seek that kind of like external validation without even me being aware of it. You know, I'm only human. So sometimes I'm like, is this cool enough? Like, is this impactful enough? Is this, you know, is my goals powerful enough? Whatever. Um, but I think at the end of the day, that could leave one with the sense of emptiness and, um, you know, it's it's something that you know i'm i'm quite lucky to start social media um at a later date than when i was younger i wasn't really allowed to have um social media and things like that when i was younger so i know i can kind of recognize when something doesn't feel right and um me being afraid to record home tour record an intro because i don't have anything impactful to say that might impress other people um i think it's pretty much the same thing as like me feeling ashamed for not having like a perfect closet or this cool couch to impress other people it's all in the same line um and i think you know practicing minimalism or and um figuring out what works for you personally what gives you joy and fulfillment aside from external pressure, um, can be both materialistic and non-materialistic. Um, so yeah, you know, uh, and I was, you know, when I did the live video yesterday and I was able to kind of like think on it and sleep on it, I realized I don't have to offer anything extraordinary, um, you know, from others' point of view. It is perhaps pretty extraordinary that you know as a simple human being i am able to connect with others without having anything too impressive going on in my life sometimes you are capable of making a small progress right now that only you can recognize do you know what i mean maybe you could memorize one word in that language that you've been meaning to learn today right the second maybe you can practice recording um, a video for yourself maybe a video clip because eventually you want to be a youtuber I have years ago, I used to, you know, record little clips um, whenever it would rain or whenever I would go outside and try and make the clip look beautiful. I have made like a book review video years ago that I've never really actually posted consistently. So there was a lot of trial and error um, be uh, behind that kind of unseen progress, um, building up the confidence or living life that kind of led me to this point to making a YouTube video and even now I'm just learning and growing and that's what I'm that's what I'm telling you you know I always say like even if you have this big goal 
break it down to minuscule steps that you know you can do and do it right now and it's a progress that nobody else could see perhaps maybe you will eat one candy stick less today to go on that healthy diet um maybe you'll take a walk for five minutes it's not impressive by any like i guess external standard but you know it's progress for you and i'm telling you right now it's okay not to be perfect as long as you're working towards being better and that's i suppose is my inspirational for this week that i want to share with the world and I hope y'all are enjoying summer. Hope you drink a lot of water, uh, stay hydrated, stay happy. Don't break out like me, but it, even if you break out, it's okay. <laughs> uh, and take care of yourself and let's start this week's Minimalist Home Tour. Let's go. Hi everyone, let's start this week's Minimalist Home Tour. There are little changes here and there, so I can't wait to get to them. But obviously there's my new bed cover and such that my folks gave to me. I decided to keep it and the extra pillow for now because I kind of need them these days. And over here you can see i've got my side table i've been doing a lot of cooking and we will do the that bag and it's got my food over there we'll do that in a second but let's go over here i've got this big towel um extra towel at home and of course these are my laundry usually they will stay right here but i moved them for you know the thumbnail shot <laughs> and over here is my general kitchen and clothes area not kitchen but fridge uh, so i've been trying to do a lot of cooking so we can do a little quick fridge tour uh, there's some frozen bananas. I'm gonna have them like ice cream, but there's shrimp and I freeze my food trash so it doesn't smell And we will move down here and you'll see I've got a bunch more groceries. I've got zucchini sausages and such and such um, I've been trying to uh, take more things to work to eat with me instead of ordering food I'm trying to save money. I'm trying to stay healthy and I've already packed my lunch and dinner, which I'm very happy about. And these are like, you know, zero calorie drinks um, that I like to have because it's summertime. And yeah, that's what's going on. And over here is my closet. Uh, so any clothes that are dry and ready to hang up, I will hang up on this little window seal. So I don't really have a closet and this works for me. I think every home has like a little cool area where you can use for different purpose. Uh, these are actually clean laundry, but I didn't fold them. I just chunked them in here. Usually what I'll do is I put folded clean laundry here and unfolded clean laundry would hang in a bag behind my door handle here. But again, um, one of my bags is kind of like falling apart. It's that blue one. Let me just go ahead and show you. These are my work laundry that I'm going to take to work. But the handle was like this. And then there's another bag at work. Uh, but usually this is how um, I would have a clean laundry that I'm not ready to fold yet. Uh, hanging behind the handle. I just simply don't have that today, but that's okay. And off-season clothes and miscellaneous items like winter stuff, whatever, it's in that little suitcase. So that's basically my closet right here. And when you walk into the house, you don't even really see it. So that's what's up. And I got so many toilet paper. I use toilet paper for everything, like a kitchen towel, like cleaning tool, so on and so forth. Uh, so here are sunglasses because so, I've just come back from vacation not that long ago. And here's my yoga mat for home workouts. I've got this cute little notebook here and I got a little eye mask that I can use because uh, I don't have curtains and here are some shells that I got from our vacation which was very very nice and let's just go into the bathroom real quick. I've got this foot mattress so I don't slip when I come out but I don't really use slippers in the bathroom. I just I'm gonna get wet anyway so I just use it um, without slippers. There's my shampoo and conditioner in that corner. Uh, I've, I've started using wet wipes for you know uh, bigger knees in the bathroom so that's that and then here's a mouth gargle uh and here's a makeup remover and this is like a mold killing spray and down there i have two cleaning tools um the smaller scrubber for top surfaces and the big scrubbers for floor and the toilet and so on and so forth i've got a bunch more hygiene products i mean obviously there's sun cream for my body because i just come back from vacation again is sun cream for my face uh here's toothbrushes and toothpaste and i've got my face cream and then this is body lotion i got two nivea creams one of these is usually in my backpack um i just happen to have two right now i think my folks gave me one of these that's why i have two uh, i have not had time to organize my home that much obviously and of course there's some q-tips that i got hairbrush these are no strips uh, and there's like an extra soap back there so that's pretty much everything that's in my bathroom right now and we'll go ahead and move into the kitchen Ta-da, this is my kitchen and obviously there's a laundry room right there. Um, but yeah, so these are like extra seaweed that I've not put up yet because um, it's like reminding me to grab one and go. 
uh, for lunch and dinner needs. And over here, since I've been doing a lot of cooking, my house was smelling kind of funny. So I got these like uh, lavender smelling beads. Hmm, it's quite nice. And then I've got this like a um, kind of like a Febreze, but it's basically like to get rid of the oil smell uh and so on and so forth and then here's you know of course my cup this extra coffee is from the family holiday they gave that to me when it was leftover so i have some coffee at home which is very nice i need to do the dishes i've just done some cooking uh this morning <coughs> excuse me and we'll move down here and i think much has changed i just put my trash in this bag here and i just prop it up so i don't have a trash can uh i just keep the trash in here it's an extra trash bag and over here is just some bulk killing spray. Oh, I didn't realize I had this extra bag. So <laughs> I did all that explaining, y'all. It's a laundry detergent. So what I should do and what I'm going to do right now. Good Lord. And you can see the door handle. I mean, the back handle is kind of like flimsy and it like falls apart easily. But I'll keep this back here and I'll keep uh, the clean laundry that I'm not ready to fold yet in here. So the laundry is like staying away from the floor and I am organized. Good Lord. Anyway, so let's go over here. Here's my kitchen cabinet. There's a lot more stuff now. That, uh, something new. That clear bag was for the beach, which is very, very lovely. Uh, and then, you know, I got a bunch more containers. These aren't mine, um, but here are the the rice packets and then, you know, miscellaneous items stay in here. I got a book for, for the home and yeah, just I use my kitchen uh, cabinet to store any type of item other than just kitchen item. And that's that. And of course, I've got my three pairs of shoes here. I got another dressy shoes at work. I showed it in, in the live video yesterday. Uh, at some point um but i'll show y'all because one of my work shoes buckle it fell apart so i got new pair of work shoes which are really cute they're kind of like tan color this is more pink but anyway it's like similar but anyway so i will show you this um lunch box that i'm taking this bag is not mine but i'm borrowing it for for silver future but you can see i packed my food uh i packed my zero drink right here i have my seaweed here and then there's like kimchi and hot sauce and down there is the food I cooked in that white container and I've got two packets of rice so that will be my lunch and dinner and I'll be able to save money and I'm going to enjoy it so yeah anyway that is the minimalist home tour for this week and let's just go to the outro so that was a video for this week I hope y'all liked it if you liked it please like and subscribe and I'll catch y'all next time with more videos bye Mwah.